Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I am your host of Software Engineering Geek, and today we're going to be talking about Groovy Closure. So sit back, download a cup of knowledge, because SE Geek begins now. episode we're going to talk about closures, the built-in closures that have been um, added to the Java JDK to make the Groovy JDK. And in all the examples I'm going to be showing you for now, uh, we're going to be using this list. And all these uh, closures are built into uh, collections, but we're just going to stick to you know a simple list for now. So we're all familiar probably, uh, you know, if you use Java, with this syntax, which is very verbose, you have the for int x equals blah blah blah, and if you run it, you get your list. Yeah, I'll print it out for you. So in Java 5, we got something like this, which is, you know, it's a little bit better, a little bit cleaner, and if we run that, we get the same list. But in Groovy, we get something even better and even cleaner. We get dot each. So now if I run this, same thing, but it's a lot smaller, it's a lot less verbose, and it's a lot cleaner. Now it is a performance trade-off, but you know, like anything else, you have to weigh the pros and the cons, you know, with that. But I'll leave that to you for you know down the line. So we have that. All right, that's cool. What else can we do? So what if we want to take something? Uh, like, you know, and do something three times. Well, we can take, you know, number, any variable, uh, you know, assign it to a variable, and do it dot times. And if we run this, see it says hi three times. Okay, that's cool. Let's move on to, how about, collect. Now this will actually go through the list and collect all of the uh, numbers that are greater than two and put those into a list. So, but you see right here, you know, the problem is uh, that we get with this is we get these nulls, which isn't, which isn't really that nice. There, there's, there's better ways to do this. So we have this find all. And if we run that, we get just the two and the four. So this goes through all of them and just finds all that are divisible by two and puts them in a list. And do, you don't pick up the nulls when you do when you use this type of find all. Now moving on, let's see, we'll put those away and we'll uncomment this one. So if we do find all this way we get three and four the ones that are greater than this is just a, another way to do that using uh, the null safe and basically this is just a boolean statement so let's see moving on further um, let's see there's also find results and this one uh, one of the things that, that's nicer about this one is if you want to inject something else into your list, uh, this will allow you to do that because when you actually, whatever you return from this statement uh, actually gets put into the list. So it's it's a little bit uh, you know more flexible with what you can do rather than just finding things and putting them in a list or collecting things or things of that nature. So I have one last quick little example, which is inject. Now what this one does is it takes uh, the last value, and basically it's an accumulator. So you go through a whole entire list, and you execute this closure with an accumulated va value and the current value that's passed in through the list. So if we run this, we'll get 10. Now just to remind you, list we have you know 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 4 is t 10 so those are you know some of the built-in um, 
closures in Groovy. And th these can just, you know, help you speed things up, uh, just, you know, with getting, uh, you know, some of the loops just to look a little cleaner, a little less verbose, and that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you next time.